So once you've selected your x-ray image, what we're going to do is start to sketch it out. There's a few different compositions here that you can choose from. Just choose the one that works best for you. So I quite like this one. I like the black in the background. Plus I get to show off with a little bit of blending in all the places. So I'm going to start by... You could completely freehand it, but I'm just going to be a little bit more precise. Um, I am just going to grid my picture into four. So four sections. There we go. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on my paper. So this is just black sugar paper. I will be... A bit more precise here. There we go, I've got my four sections. Um, you can start in whatever section that you want to. I'm just going to look for the easiest one to start with, which is this bottom corner here. That looks nice and easy. So that must be just the edge of the hand. And it goes down to about there. So I'm just pressing lightly with my colour pencil. You can rub this out if you make a mistake, just so long as you are pressing lightly. I'm now going to move on to the next section. Um, if you want to be super precise, you might even grid that up a little, a little bit more. So I'm just doing another four sections. Only do this if you need to. There we go, so that's that part drawn out. Now I'm going to move up to the top part and again work in one square at a time. I'm going to draw in the top part. As long as you press lightly, you can rub any of the grid lines out. So I'm moving on to that last section now. Just just over here. It looks a little bit more complex than the other sections. I've started off with the easy ones. 
so I'm just going to grid that into four just to make sure that I get this tricky part right And then we've got to just double check back through. I've messed off like a little part of this bone here. Just check back through just to make sure you have got all of your angles right. You've got everything in the right place. Just check to see if some of the lines that you've created, whether they should be curved, whether they should be straight. And then if you're happy with your drawing, any grid lines that you don't need, you can just rub away. So I've checked the top part of my drawing. I'm very happy with that. And I'm just going to rub those grid lines away so that I'm left with an outline drawing. <laughs> 